how many days a week should I work out? So you guys are actually going to notice the second bullet point here, consider your goals. That is on every single slide. And I go over that at the end. Always want to consider your goals. Don't pick a plan and program just because it worked for someone and they look awesome. So how many days a week should you work out? When you ask that question, you need to consider your current routine of what you're doing. Because again, you do not need to jump in the deep end and go to six days a week of working out when you're only doing two. So the minimum days a week I work out and recommend working out for clients in regard to strength and resistance training is three days. You have about a total of seven or eight muscle groups in your body, back, shoulders, chest, thighs, tries, legs, abs, calves, eight. So if you only work out once or twice, you, there's no way in hell you'll hit all these muscles. And that's fine, really. But if your goal is to tone and tighten and build muscle, you need to break down all these muscles unless you're in that maintenance phase and you have that muscle tone there. Because the only way to get rid of fat on any area of your body is to replace it with muscle. And that muscle helps burn the fat. So I recommend a minimum of three because essentially calves and abs or core can be worked in for workouts, especially by the way you write them. So I write mine in a super set manner, which is essentially a circuit. So you're constantly moving, which is keeping your heart rate up, but also you're constantly working your abs and core. So you don't need to do, go do like an ab workout. It doesn't hurt if you end up doing one, right? So in those three days, let's just consider those six main muscle groups. Three days, that's either two muscle groups a day, or if you wanted to make legs only legs for one day, that's still splitting up, you know. Um, you could do a back bicep and rear delt, and rear delt is part of your shoulders. So essentially when you row, you're gonna hit those rear delts anyway. And then for that third day, you could do a chest, tricep, and front delt. So that's the front part of your shoulders, which you use when you do your chest anyway. And then all you're missing is those lateral shoulders. So you can throw it in your back workout, you could throw it in your chest workout, or you could put it in with your legs. So a minimum of three days of resistance training. Anything more than that will allow you to isolate more. It'll allow you to break down that muscle more because you'll be able to do more things with it. So it'll, it's great, but it's not needed. So what you need to do is consider a balance in your routine because if you only need to work out three days a week minimum, and when you consider your balance real quick, consider what you enjoy. So if you don't enjoy lifting, why the hell are you going to put yourself at lifting six days a week? Just do your three that you're supposed to do your minimum because I still want you to do a car, you know, cardio, even if it's just once, twice a week. I want you to be able to do a Pilates or a yoga and optimize the other types of fibers that need to be worked as well. Also, workouts like yoga, they strengthen your joints, your ligaments, your tendons, which connect bone to bone and muscle to bone. And that's how you optimize not getting injured by having a flexible recovery day, by having a mobile active recovery day, by having your cardio days and your strength days and actually balancing out your week. So consider a balance in regard to you committing to three resistant workouts a week minimum, figure out what you enjoy, and then plan your cardio and your recovery sessions in as well. Trust me, if you are 20 something years old or high 20s or low 30s, you will literally hate your body when you're in your upper 40s if you do not start including recovery in your routines, because I promise you feel that later. So consider your overall commitment and your commitment will be based on your goals. It will be dictated depending on your current routine, most likely on what you enjoy and then what you surround yourself with outside of that and your support system. So how many days a week should you work out? If you have a goal of losing fat, toning up, building muscle, three days minimum.